so um, I'm going to do the rock first, but the, uh, we do the foreground rock first. Okay, we got music. Uh, first of all, using the, uh, we call the tip centered stroke. Hold the brush straight. You can hold it uh, higher if needed. So, uh, draw the contour of the, the rock. Is it straight in? Did you put water? Oh, I, I didn't use water. So the, I started. Uh, I started. Uh, uh, thank you. I started uh, a little darker, and then uh, it turns. Uh, you see, it turns gray, uh, and uh, it would be. I tried to recite it, but uh, not accurate. So let me just. We call this. Uh, Technique um, X cut, X cut. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, this is the the typical uh, kind of stroke. You don't have to do very fast because the brush is dry now. Uh, if it's wet, you have to do it faster. Uh, so you adjust the speed according to the situation, uh, the the moisture on the brush. Uh, you can on this paper it's not um, uh, bleeding. So mm -hmm. I can I can put see mm -hmm. that's that's the best. Of that. And uh, another uh, advantage is that uh, you can do this to lighten it. Mm -hmm. Okay, not possible on raw uh, on raw paper on uh, side unsized paper. Now I'm going to do the tree trunk. When you do the tree, you concentrate on the gesture, the movement. It's like a figure, you know, the dancer. <laughs> uh, uh, so it's a very important to keep it the balance. And uh, you have to read the painting carefully. Like here, uh, you may read it as a rock. Oh, as I interpret it, uh, a, a um, root. How I know? Because I read so many, seem so many paintings, I can read their mind. Um, here it should be the root. Especially on a host tree, there's no root on a guest tree. Uh, the trees or the bushes behind don't have root. Right? So um, you can. Depends on the brush. Uh, you know, sometimes it gets dry, and you can just do the uh, shading or, or texture when it's uh, dry. When when the brush is uh, drier, don't always reload. That created the uh, little white we call flying white. The space uh, shows through uh, the paper. That also indicates power and the strength and the movement to give you direction of uh, the, the gesture of uh, the brush. So we concentrate on the trunk. Um, you may remember I, where I started here. Um, in, in other trees, in Chinese painting, we have some trees named after uh, their characteristic uh, uh, Leaves are uh, the 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 name like a pine or willow, uh, and the most of the trees are called the, the other trees. Uh, the other trees you may start from what we call the intersection, where the branches uh, start to split. So uh, roughly in the middle of the the tree, like uh, like right here, you know. And you may see I leave the space. Between strokes, uh, that we call it uh, idea complete with absence of stroke, uh, or we call it void, the solid and the void that you don't see in the traditional uh, painting manual book, uh, but you can see on the, on the picture. So this uh, 
if you if you copy this kind of you uh, don't copy exact the tonality and the stroke uh, so, uh, the solid and the void you need to make your own judgment basically the uh, most the trees the the crown is a little more solid and uh, the the root is more void but in pine I tried to Make a, the, because it's very characteristic. If the root is not strong, it won't hold the the gravity. You know, because the pine is so uh, uh, graceful with long arm. So I try to make the the root very solid. Kind of grab the no soil, the stone, <laughs> the the rock, right? So the ink is uh, gold, as uh, Nancy mentioned uh, in Chinese art theory. I would say the, the water is silver. <laughs> That's, uh, it's very treasurable. So we don't wash our brush in the water, never. Mm. You can use more brush if you need it when you change color. And you can exhaust it, basically. So the brush, when the brush is uh, uh, clean, the painting is finished. So here is. Another tricky part. I, you you do the front um, first after right. The front. Um, oops. And uh, the branches are outlined, meaning double outline when we say outline. And uh, if it, it's a, a single uh, stroke, we call it boneless, but here is the, actually it's bone stroke. Um, itself is a line, right? If there's a no, no line, we call it uh, boneless. It's a style different bef uh, between the xie yi, or the freestyle and the gongbi style. So there are three styles, bone, uh, Bone style or fine line style we call gongbi. Uh, as mentioned uh, bef before, they they are more elaborated with uh, uh, more color usually. And xie yi is mostly ink and water. So the twigs only one stroke, but uh, notice the the connection between the two line, double line, and the one line should be natural. So the, the change, uh, normally people will put a big blob there or something. It, it would be uh, not nice. That's the, the cliff. And uh, as I said, you can you can blot it like that, but don't abuse this uh, privilege. <laughs> you don't uh, in Chinese painting. It's always calligraphic, which means uh, you cannot change. So they show the stroke, which is uh, has a life of its own. Uh, so you can you can uh, add the we call it the texture at the same time as you. After, right after you do the contour. Uh, we don't call this uh, shading. In some books, they call it shaping. I prefer using that term. Um, so it's not uh, shading in a Western you know, uh, painting sense that, uh, with light. Uh, but it has to do with, uh, certainly has to do with uh, yin yang. So this, uh, this shaping technique uh, kind of uh, we call it surface struck, uh, surface texture, and also uh, create the contrast between yin and yang, the the shady and uh, the bright side of the. So when you do a shading, or not shading, shaping stroke, you do it on one side of the contour. In this case, the out, uh, the outside, not the downside of this top. Uh, Outline, right? So uh, let me sh let me do a small practice here. So you should start maybe from this rock. Uh, you can see the uh, 
the, per, the whole entire procedure of uh, one, one rock. If you can do this rock, you can do the whole picture. Here, here's how uh, I start with the pushing. Okay, and then you can, you can create a more uh, coarse lines and then make a <coughs> <laughs> we call this stone nose, nose. <laughs> Create a three dimension. Um, there's another way you can make the line lighter. <laughs> Just add a little water to the line. It's called the tarashikomi. Tarashikomi is a Japanese term. Uh, and just don't do anything, you will lighten it after it dries. But uh, I can make it to dry faster. Just blot it. I like this paper towel, there's no uh, texture. See? So you have more control with gombi paper. Same amount of control as you do the elaborated style. So now you can see the tones, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so it has a, a Gradation, although we don't have the perspective, uh, but we do care about distance. So there's no uh, root uh, on the distant trees, no double line, maybe you know, when it gets farther, you know, the, the ink gets narrow also. Uh, add more water to it. Okay, just here. Uh, use, use pushing. Too dark. And that's, um, that's a rescue. Try to match the same color, so just do the same here. <clears throat> um, you can use a, you said a, a soft brush instead, right? Okay, let's just use any uh, any this kind of brush. You can use a super wash or uh, what do we call this? Uh, you can also use a combination brush. Okay, on, on this kind of paper, uh, because it's not absorbed, so you don't, you don't use too much water. Just uh, enough, when you finish the stroke, there should be no water remaining on the, on the paper. Can I take a picture of this? Sure. Oh, so when you start it, you start here at the stone, right? Yeah. You start there? Yeah. You, uh, you can start from uh, this is stone. Yeah, okay. this is stone. The darkest is stone. Okay. The dark stone. The darkest comes first. And that's what's front. What's in the front comes I see. first. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. 